Well, what superpower would you like, then? I came up with one. I'd be bullshit, man. There's so many meetings going on where you know people are bullshitting. I'd just like to walk in. I wouldn't need a special costume. Just dress like this. And I'd fly in. I'd go, bullshit. You're talking bullshit. And they'd go, oh, it's bullshit, man. And I'd go, yeah, I, it is bullshit, man. You're talking bullshit. And eventually, people would stop talking shit. So today on the Bullshit Bulletin, we're looking at Nick Caputo, an American finance graduate located in Hawaii, who is a self-proclaimed healer and inventor of the eponymous Caputo method. So his profile was sent to me by one of my followers named Clowns, who's an expert at finding ridiculous Instagram gurus online. So like, if you're into that, definitely go give him a follow. Uh, anyways, at first, Nick Caputo just seemed like your regular run-of-the-mill Gota guys. Um, so if you don't know what Gota is, it's a pseudo cult for like, personal trainers that believes that weightlifting is going to destroy you and it's based around ancient mat or some bullshit like that but then i learned about caputo's relationship with his fluids and then it was so weird i had to share it which is why i'm making this video i'm also reviewing this dude because he's a good example of someone practicing healthcare without any qualifications and the potential dangers it can have so nate calls himself a healer and teaches reflexology natural movements uh, to help patients reverse all forms of disease, teaches fasting, sexual energy refinement, <laughs> herbal medicine, astrology, and you know, all stuff that's like very solid scientific stuff. Um, but he also teaches urine therapy, which if you don't know what urine therapy is, pretty straightforward. The dude is obviously a an health and wellness expert. So you might be wondering, you know, what's his skincare routine? And look no further, my boy Nick has got you. So if you have skin or hair issues, the first thing you're gonna do is on day one, you're gonna start with urine. Then on day two, you're gonna go with more urine. Day three, urine. Day four, urine. Uh, day, five, uh, day five is urine as well. But then it gets tricky at night because you have to... Oh, never mind. It's also urine, urine, and also urine. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. The guy has over 5,000 followers online, which... Hey guys, so I double-checked and he does have 5K on his personal page, but on his official Grow From The Garden page, he has 20,000 followers, which is ridiculous. Online, which honestly is kind of mind-boggling to me, given how open he is about his uh, peculiar relationship with his piss, but uh, let's move on. Nick also teaches breath work, which is probably what brings people in, because there is some evidence for breath work, and people like Yogi Physio can probably... Uh, teach you about it without all the pee stuff. Um, yeah, so breath work I have no real issue with. I'm not an expert on this, plus I'll admit that this guy twerking with his stomach is honestly kind of dope. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, the problem is, is that he oversells the benefits of breath work to an extreme I didn't even know was possible, which we'll get to in a minute. But first, let's learn how our boy Caputo became so wise. So he started practicing holding his breath after he saw a movie about surfing where the main character tries to practice holding his breath to survive a wipeout from a 40-foot wave. He also mentions in his bio that as a kid, he became so good at breathing that uh, he didn't eat for weeks at all. He would lie to his parents and say he ate, but he didn't. And then he would not sleep or barely sleep uh, because he didn't eat, so he wasn't tired, which honestly makes no sense, but whatever. Why life? Never mind, guys. I find an explanation. Nourishment is lost not when you don't eat, but rather, nourishment is lost when you eat. The body functions despite food, not because of it. Nick Caputo, grab from the gut. Still reading off his bio on his webpage, there's a passage where he mentions he wasn't as strong as the other kids, which honestly to me seems kind of obvious because he wasn't eating or sleeping, but you know, that's besides the point. Then as a teen, he moved on and did a bunch of drugs. Almost all of them is what he says, um, which, you know, what a quitter. Apparently this whole time Caputo had been suffering from really, really bad heartburn, which he says went away completely when he started being a fruitarian at 19. He says he ate some blueberries, which were the first fruits he'd ever eaten in his life at 19, and that is Harper magically went away after four days of doing that. Why life? Oh. Caputo says that during that year, he was actually eating at Chipotle every day, you know, before eating that blueberry, which is kind of weird to me because I feel like if you're going to Chipotle every day, you're going to have some guac at some point and avocados are fruit. But, you know, what do I know? Why life? Oh. 
Nick also says that later he had nuts for the first time in his life. Um, what were your parents feeding you, man? Like dog food? Like what the hell? And what's with the obsession about lying about fruits and nuts and like stuff you haven't eaten? That's really weird. Why lying for? Caputo says the experience made him skeptical of doctors who he says didn't help him at all with the heartburn. Maybe he forgot to mention he was eating a chipotle every day. Or maybe he was, like he says he is in his own words, smarter than everyone else. Bold words for a piss drinking man who thinks he doesn't need to sleep because he's built different. But anywho, at that point, he seems to have fallen down into the alternative health uh, pharma conspiracy uh, rabbit hole, which is really hard to get out of. <laughs> Sorry, my, my sinuses are clogged. Maybe I should uh, ask Nick for some advice. Hey, Nick, what do I do? So it's around that time that he met Taylor Bud, uh, a breatharian coach. Uh, and you might be wondering what a breatharian is. It's someone who says you can forego food and just breathe in calories like a freaking plant doing photosynthesis. They have a great track record. Their most prominent leader, Juaz Min, has only been directly linked to the deaths of five people, so who am I to judge? Also, uh, people who go to her house often notice that her fridge is full, uh, but that's just because she's not eating the food, you freaking dummy. That's why it stays full. Anywho, accompanied by Taylor Budd, Nick claims he did his first fast longer than 24 hours in 2019. Um, I'm not sure what happened to the fasting weeks at a time that he claimed earlier, uh, but that's what he says. Why lying for? Regardless, in 2020, uh, he starts charging for his services as a breath coach and breatharian diet expert. Uh, and he also starts to claim that he can reverse diseases, including cancer, dementia, Lyme's disease, diabetes, Crohn's disease, and others, all before he was 23 years old. Um, like, I don't know where his Nobel Prize is, but like, he definitely deserves it. So that's kind of where he is now. Uh, he says he's only consuming fruits and air, and that he can build muscle by just using breath organism because, according to him, muscle is built from oxygen and iron, and those are present in blood, and you can just increase that via breath work. Also, you mentioned something interesting in one of your, of your posts on, on IG, a video you did about that the, the human growth hormone in the, in the urine, you, yep. you know, you, you re-rub it on yourself. It's the same thing muscle builders shoot themselves with, right? Yeah, exactly. But wait, there's more. Um, when you go down this path, you don't really stop. Like, you can't not build muscle on this because the thing is, is like, yeah. you're pro because of blood flow, not because of what you eat. So if you're getting better circulation, like even Sebi preached and, and um, Taylor said this in our podcast episode that Sebi was mostly just preaching oxygen and iron, which is literally just blood flow. <laughs> blood, flow yeah. equals, blood flow makes you grow. You don't need more food. You need more flow. I honestly don't know how he got there. Maybe he was confused by the expression, you know, building muscles of steel. Because... You know, steel is iron and oxygen, but that's still pretty stupid. It feels honestly ridiculous having to debunk this in 2021, but, you know, besides being a complete slap in the face of microscopic studies showing muscles are made of proteins, we also know that the vast majority of studies show that over 97% of people's muscles will start wasting away unless they're fed at least 0.8 grams of protein per kilograms of body weight. And it doesn't mean that there's like 3% of people who don't need it. It just means they need more proteins uh, among those 3% outliers. Oh, and if you thought that was weird, get ready for this. You're giving out the nutrients in your blood that you're giving out. You're not getting them back. When you exhale, you're getting an inhale back. Like when you pee, you're not getting anything back. That's why you're supposed to drink it. So at least if you're going to have your period and you're going to bleed, you should at least drink it. And that's like damage control. And honestly, the same thing for men who ejaculate, drink it. It's damage control. Yeah, uh, that's weird to me. But to be fair, his sperm must taste amazing because of all the fruits he's constantly eating. But wait, there's more. Really, ideally, if you're looking for nourishment for your kid, you should just strictly breastfeed them for the first five to seven years of life. Mm -hmm.
Hey champ, that's really interesting. Next time, keep it to yourself. Like something, you know, like people feed kids ridiculous stuff these days, but like they don't have to be eating for the sake of being nourished. And the only reason you should ever feed a child an external food that isn't their own urine, your urine, or your breast milk is because they want to experience it out of their choice and they're asking for it. And even- What the fuck? And then circling back to breath or unism, uh, some people might wonder, you know, what could be the explanation for his beliefs that air can be food. Uh, Caputo claims that digestion and mastication are actually draining energy from you uh, rather than giving it to you via food. Um, except fruits, breast milk, cum, period blood, and pee. Like why, bro? That doesn't make any sense. What's magical about fruits and why don't you eat your feces then? If it's waste, you know? So obviously I don't think my target demographic needs to hear this, but you know, just leave your urine in the toilet and that's it, you know? But if Nick is listening to this, hi Nick. Um, Ogan Shea and colleagues in 2010 looked at urine therapy and they found that um, there were over 116 different types of bacteria with 50% of them uh, being antibiotic resistant. So obviously it's not a good idea to mess around with your pee. Just leave it in the toilet, okay? So honestly, Nick, uh, I'm not being mean. Like, I think you really need help, man. Like what you're doing is inaccurate, probably illegal and extremely dangerous. There's already a bunch of people who died from breath arianism and your diet is not sustainable. People need proteins to live. So honestly, get some help. I don't think you're all there. I'm not being mean, just like get some help. You are gonna hurt people and probably gonna hurt yourself eventually. Just look up the coconut cult. Uh, something similar happened and they all died. All right, so I just want to close with a message to the people listening to this. Please don't go on Nick's page to follow him, troll him in the comment, or share his stories or whatever that would reward him through the algorithm. And we don't want his page to prosper. We want it to wither away. Um, and also, I don't think Nick Caputo is a bad person. I just think he's very lost and needs some help. Uh, and to every other bullshit artist out there, um, just please do better, man. All right, thank you. Pulled out the Polaroid candid Instagram stories Elderly youth movement outcast from his parents' quarters After reporting earnings not lighting up with his corduroys It seems a bit too big for his breeches Caught in the web, can't pull the bootstrap out from the widget